so in today's video you guys see I'm not in my apartment here traveling at the moment currently in Denver and I really wanted to do this video actually before the trip uh, but didn't have time so without further ado let's get started on that so this video is going to be about skincare essentials just for traveling I think a lot of the times we really underestimate what we might need, especially when it comes to skincare and or just some basic things that you might need to take care of yourself, especially when you're traveling to hot or colder climates. So here are some things that you might need uh, when you're traveling for your skincare. Okay, first thing first, this might seem so random and those are just like not really related to skincare, but you should really have a toiletry bag or just some bag that will keep things organized. Get a lot of compliments on this. Uh, I have been taking a lot of stuff, so don't judge me. So I have like two bags with me, but I feel like if you are just one person or just don't need a lot of stuff, you can just have one and you'll be fine with it. This is something like I think uh, I got it at the Chirology event. They gave it to me. It's a clear bag. It's kind of nicer because you can see everything in it and you will know what to get. But this is also not bad either. So I would definitely recommend some toiletry bags so you can keep everything in one place and you never have to worry about what you're going to need uh, for your skincare. Okay, other thing that starts at the top of the list is obviously sunscreen. So even if you are at a colder climate, you're still going to need sunscreen. So I would definitely, definitely like highly urge you to pack at least small sunscreen for your face. Because even in that colder climate, you might be just wearing you know, layers, but you still need to take care of your neck and your face. So I would recommend just like small sunscreen like this, you know, so it's a travel friendly, it's not over 100 uh, milliliters or gram, whatever the, you know, the port format is. So you can put in your carry-on athletes or backpack, it's very easy. Or if you're going to somewhere <laughs> warmer climate and you're not checking your bag, you can get something small like this and it goes into your bag as well and you can have it in your carry-on. Not a lot, but you can always get more later, but it's good to have some basic skincare that you need because you never know if you're going to get access to skin like the sunscreen right away and like you don't know where it will be. Like I feel like it's a process. So at least have some small essential that you can start with that you can buy later when you get to your destination. Other thing is I would say this is something maybe some people think it's optional. I would say either have some sort of a cologne with you or something for your armpits, like um, antiperspirant or some things that's good for it because after a long day of traveling or during the traveling, you know, you might sweat, there's things could happen. You wanna be a bit refreshed. So I would definitely recommend having some sort of a cologne with you. This one that I specifically use right now and it's almost gone, it's called Spice Bomb by Victor and Raw Fragrances. Would 100% recommend it. This is the Night Vision and they have the regular version too. They're both amazing and it's really, really great. So other thing I would recommend with that like sunscreen that comes with it is the moisturizer. Moisturizer is just essential for everything for day and night, so you should definitely use it. Just basic moisturizer, honestly, whatever you use for your usual one, you should pack one as well. So what I would recommend also is like something that's very gentle because if you have some some burn or some sort of a sun damage, moisturizer is going to alleviate that pain and kind of like burning sensation, I would say. Would definitely recommend to that. But on top of it also, this is something really, really helps a lot. It doesn't cure it, but you should always pack sheet masks. I have like so many with me and I'm going to use some of it. It's like eye mask as well. So they are so good for just sun, like the sun damage because it really is makes the skin like kind of like repair itself. Uh, not like overnight obviously, but like it really helps a lot. So I would definitely recommend packing some sheet masks because they're so like easy to put on. You can even put them on the airplane because it's like you don't need to do much. You just have to make sure that your skin is clean and hands on top of it. Uh, I know this is not ideal and would not recommend it on a daily basis. But if you're on the go, if you're on the road tripping or if you're on the plane for an extended amount of time and you don't have access to water to wash your face with a cleanser, just get some, uh, you know, the skincare wipes or the makeup remover wipes or some sort of wipes because not all of them are terrible and I only recommend this when you don't have access to washing your face with a cleanser. Otherwise, would not recommend it. There are some of them that are very moisturizing and stuff. These, these are from the hotels, like I'm just using as an example. You can use them, then you can apply your sun, uh, like the sheet mask or any sort of mask because you don't want to put a mask onto a 
skin that has sunscreen or other products on it it's not going to be effective it needs to be cleansed really really well and other basic things i would say is like you know obviously if you have like contacts or anything like that you should put them in a bag like this and have your small products that you don't use all the time like you know some spray that you would use for bug or something like that or some uh, allergy stuff just keep it in here and on top of it this is not directly skincare but some things that i use like especially for teeth whitening let's just say you're you want to make sure that you will like you want to keep your <laughs> teeth in the best shape as possible maybe you have a photo shoot in the destination or you want to look as presentable as possible definitely carry one of these like teeth whitening strips they don't cost a lot and you don't have to use this brand they're even like sell at like walgreens or cvs that like, crest teeth whitening strips they work like magic guys magic like after you brush your teeth uh, for the next day you can just put it on and like overnight like not overnight like that night then the next day your teeth will be like sparkling uh, you can even try it like multiple times would not recommend it too much though because it will affect your teeth a lot so and you will become more sensitive and a few more things i would recommend and it's just like these are basic things like these these are very twist, like, you know, you just twitch the hair, uh, depending on where you have hair, that you wanna just get rid of right away. I especially use it a lot for nose hair, and sometimes I feel like, because you can use a lot of trimmers or stuff for the nose hair, um, but I just, just clip it like this, just pull it. It hurts quite a lot, would say that, but I would definitely recommend it if you just like, you know need some like some long hair that's popping out and just like pull it out would work amazingly and last thing i would say which i don't seem to see it in here it's more of like grooming side if you think that you're gonna need some sort of grooming nine out of ten that what hotels give you for shaving is not really amazing especially if you have sensitive skin would not recommend it even if your shaving cream is not so great sometimes it causes not i mean it becomes red or it just becomes like very hard to shave bring your own electric razor with you and that's gonna make things so much easier i have done this most of the time and there are a couple times i have forgot it it was not a good experience but 100 percent recommend it for the last routine so you can keep your um, facial hair at the size that you want because you don't want it to be too long sometimes or you want it to be short or you want to get it like trimmed in the bottom or cleanly shaved for your you know under the neck area so just keep that in mind next time you're traveling and these are some things that you should pack when you're traveling for skincare i will link some of the things down below so you guys can check them out but no like need for purchases the same products it's just more the suggestions of what you can pack for your next trip <laughs>